Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to do a Form 17 uh, to where your clients don't have to fill it out. You don't have to go pick it up. You can do it all online. So I've already set up this transaction. When I set up this transaction, the Form 17 was in the forms. So I'm going to click on the Form 17. Now when the Form 17 comes up, it's going to be blank. It's going to be empty. you got to make sure the top part is all filled out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and Email. And then you're going to pull up the form 17 and hit OK. And then I'm just going to send it to myself. Okay. And then allow, we're going to send it as a link. And then we're going to allow editing of the form. Okay. And then um, you got to give it a, an expiration date. So let's say 10 days down the road. Um, and then send it. And what's going to happen is uh, this will send you an email. So while we wait for that email, let's pause. And as soon as that email comes up, I'll come back. Okay, so it took about 45 seconds to a minute to get this email. So let's open up the email. And you'll see that there's a link here for Form 17. Now make sure you tell them that every single line has to have a check mark on it. If it's not applicable, if it's yes, no, I don't know, it doesn't matter, every single box, even if it doesn't apply, has to have some kind of mark in it, so an NA or something. So always make sure your clients click this box. Uh, this is one of the biggest um, boxes that get missed on most Form 17s. And then they can just go down the line and check these boxes. <clears throat> okay, so they just keep going through, they do the whole thing, and then what they're going to do is they're going to save it. Now, once they save it, it should go back and um, give us the link. Now, one thing it's also going to do is it's going to send you an email that says, um, Paul opened um, that email and started filling out the form. So if we go back to our form, right, we got to close this one because it's probably not going to update it live. And then we'll click this. And then as we pull it up, it should have started filling it out. But for some reason, it's not showing you that it filled it out. So let's try that again. We'll get rid of it. And then we'll come back to it. Because I saved it. I know I saved it. There's the email that says it was open. And it might just take a little while for it to catch up. So while we're waiting for it to catch up, I am going to go up. Okay, so it took a good four or five minutes for that to come across. <clears throat> now if I click the form 17, um, it should be partially filled out because I only filled out part of it. So yep, checkbox is marked. Everything I marked is there. Okay, so you can go through and you can check it and make sure it's good. If it's not good, then you want to call your client and say, hey, you missed line 53, you missed line 54. Um, you know, can you go back in and redo that? Um, or, you know, however you want to do it. Now, remember, anything that has an asterisk next to it, uh, for example, this one, this one, this one, uh, all of these, if it has an asterisk next to it, you mark yes, you need to type in some kind of explanation here. Okay. And then um, you just save it. Now, once it's done, completed, and all completed, then all you have to do is click sign. Yes, I want to click a signature. And then it'll take you to AuthentiSign. You can just have them sign this one form, right? So participants, let's just say Paul Frank, uh, remote signer. So, well, let's do this. Let's do Paul Frank here, remote signer, and then add. OK, 
Okay, now it's giving me the red box because I don't have an email in this, so I got to put an email in there. Okay, and then save it. And then the red box goes away. Okay, and then the document's already there. It's the form 17, and you can click it, make sure that it's the right one, and then it's properly filled out. Again, this is your last chance to check it before you send it on and everything there looks good and then step four is designed since it's an OS form it's already going to print out um, the form 17 or it's already going to autofill where they need to initial um, so you don't have to do anything just verify all that it's all good and then just hit next and then it will send it to them for their signatures so basically what we did is we went through um, we created the form, emailed them the form, they filled the form out. Once they filled out the form, we verified that, that it's all good. And you can go to the Washington Association of Realtors and it will show you, um, uh, there's a video on how to do the form 17 from Annie Fitzsimmons. You, you know, if your clients struggle, send them that video. So it gives them a good idea of what's going on. And then um, here's the form, so you're all good. So we had them fill everything out, we made sure it's all good, and then we sent just that one form for a then assign. So it should come back with everything on it and squared away. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks.